All right, so I got these Valentinos. They are called the Rock Runners. Yeah. Yeah. Jay. Sean. These are in blue and gray, and I had to get a 40. Now, 40 is equivalent to a 7 US. It sounds super small, but they actually cut a little long, but they don't go any smaller than that. Anyway, I normally wear an 8 US or even sometimes a 7.5. It all depends on the type of shoe. My foot is kind of weird. But I picked these up because... I was in the store. I had to travel a bit far, but I wanted to try on these Balenciagas that I've been talking about in a lot of these videos. I ordered them actually um, today, and they'll come in about around five days. So sometime next week after this video probably is uploaded, I'll do like a quick discussion about it and how they fit, what I think about it as far as pricing and materials, blah, blah, blah. This comes in really nice packaging. You get an extra set of shoestrings. I mean, even the shoestrings, I don't even know how you would get another pair of these shoestrings, but that's how they come. You get a little card. And to some people, this isn't going to matter. You're going to be like, who cares? You know what I'm saying? And I get that too. And this is just talking about, um, it says anti, it has some kind of antibacterial something in the soles or something. I'm trying to find it in English. But I see uh, something with, uh, I don't know if you can make this out. Shock absorption. Um, let me just tell you, these aren't the most comfortable shoes, to be honest with you. I even tried on the uh, Balenciagas, the ones that are like um, the sock type of runners. Some people said they had like memory foam. Maybe they do, but the ones that I'm getting are like a version based off of those, that style, but not exactly the style. And I did that on purpose because... I just don't like to go towards things that everybody likes. And I was never really a fan of the sock shoe. I think it's okay. And I think you can find something to go with it. But it just wasn't really for me. And I wasn't trying to be different just to be different. It's just because I naturally prefer something else. I wanted something with laces that kind of remind me of a running shoe. More so than a slip-on, if that makes any sense. So you'll see them soon. I just ordered them from Saks. And I'll be getting them shoes in, um, I think, in today's only Wednesday. I think they come in like Tuesday. So I don't know. Hopefully in a week from now, they'll come up. You get a dust bag. And the cool thing is, I think in Balenciaga, you only get one dust bag. I got two dust bags. I guess that's for each shoe. Um, I don't really picture myself putting my shoes in these bags, though. But it's cool that it's there. It's the receipt. So when I tell you about pricing, it is not to brag. It is not to boast. It is not to say, ha ha, I got this and you don't. It's not to say that at all. And these are called Valentino Rock Runners. Um, I normally wear a size eight, right? I think I went through this before. I wear a size eight. Uh, I had to go down a whole size because they don't do half sizes. I got a seven. Um, so seven in, in these designer brands are 40s. So if you need to know that, it's a 40. I would suggest going down um, unless you like your shoes big or something. These shoes were, they were pretty pricey. I don't even know if I should say the price, but then you, somebody's going to ask me how much were they or where you get them. I don't know. But these retail for, actually, let me show them to you and then I'll talk about the pricing. So the way they're packaged are super dope. Now, again, if you're looking for the ultimate flash, flashy shoe this is not it this is not this is not what these are designed for these are on some humble if i wear these around my way i'm not gonna lie to you i told you people are probably gonna wonder what the hell they are they're probably just they think there's some cheap shoes now the materials are somewhat premium uh, i wish they had more leather on them but this is what they look like it's a mixture of leather suede and canvas it is a decently lightweight shoe I do like the touch of this olive color here, which is Valentino. I'm not saying that that makes up for the price tag or anything crazy like that, but I do like the touch, how it's not just one solid color or all black, all white. It has this, it's like a burgundy kind of heel, leather heel area here. It's kind of weird how they do it, but it flaps over, so I can put my finger under inside here, and this is suede, and it has these, uh, I, I notice a lot of designers have a lot of, um, spikes I, I don't know why amongst all the brands it's not just one brand so this is subtle i like it um this would have been dope if it had something here uh something like the stitching was like maybe so this is like a uh 
kind of like a brownish tannish. This would have been dope. It had like a little bit of brown tan stitching just to kind of pop out the soles. That's just my opinion if I was looking at this shoe from a designer perspective. But I do like them. They're very simple. I'm not even going to probably do it on foot. These are pretty casual. And I think that you can do a little bit of both. So when I first tried these on, I had like track pants on, like um, fitted uh, athletic performance pants. Um, I thought it looked right, even though the materials are a little different. I still thought it looked right with this. And you can obviously wear it with jeans also. Um, it's not like a dressy type of casual designer brand shoe. Uh, it's still a track shoe or running shoe. Now, if you choose to run in shoes that cost as much, that's, I mean, that's totally up to you. You just won't catch me doing it. And you have to remember something, at least for me, I used to wear stuff that I would try to buy a shoe. This is when I wasn't really buying clothes, okay? I would try to buy a shoe that I could wear with every single thing that I had. And the thing of it is, like, I don't really think like that now. So just say these are crazy looking shoes, but I knew there was something that would look real fire with these. I would get them. And then I would accept the fact that I would only wear them once in a while. Because something like this, you don't really want to wear every day, all the time, with every outfit. It's something that you just want to wear on occasion. You just have it on deck when when you want to wear it, right? I wear a lot of white gold jewelry. I have some yellow pieces, right? But I don't wear yellow all the time. But it's nice that since when I do wear it, that I got some things to go with it. Whether it be my glasses, whether it be a watch or something like that. And it, that's just kind of how I look at these shoes, like accessory pieces. And I wear them when I want to and need to, right? So the shoe is still dope. I could understand if somebody saw these and didn't respect the value in them or respect the uh, design or, or whatever you want to call call it um but i like it you know what i'm saying that's why i bought it so if you want to know the price for these hold your breath because if you're used to buying like jordans or something like that um you're gonna think these are probably a little ridiculous now for the price maybe i thought it wasn't that bad only because of what i was what i paid for the balenciagas um which are a bit more these retailed well i walked out the door with these with tax and everything in my area i paid 630 75 $630.75. I'm not saying this to brag. I'm not saying this to say, ooh, look at these. You ain't got them. It's just for information. It's just me sharing my experience. That's pretty much it. The actual sticker price is $595. Now, I think you have to realize when you go into certain designer stores, you have to have... I noticed that all designers have a certain price range that... It's like a price range that I notice is like common with all of them right so once you start understanding and accepting that when you walk into those stores valentinos is just going to cost 600 on up uh red bottoms for girl or louboutins are just going to be like six to uh 800 and then some are going to be 12 i think it's 12.95 a whole rack of them like jimmy choose all them they all kind of have the same basic price range now overpriced more than likely but when you start understanding that that's just what it costs for those items, you kind of just don't really look at it like it's bad anymore, if that makes any sense. I accept the fact that Balenciaga shoes is going to cost me upwards towards $1,000. And um, I couldn't complain if I went in there and I saw a shoe for eight, dollars $900, 700 whatever, because I already look at the brand is costing that much, right? And if I didn't want to spend that much, I just wouldn't look at them. So when I see a shoe like this that was like $600, i am like, oh, shit. These are only six. Ain't that weird? I was like, these are only six? Like, it's weird, right? A brainwash, man. But all jokes aside, uh, just just get what makes you happy. Don't get it for other people. Don't just buy shit just because you saw somebody wearing the shit. Um, now, you could be inspired by someone's fit. Go try it on. And if you actually fuck with it, then get it. You know what I'm saying? And then style it your own way. Um, don't get it because it's expensive. Because I'm not going to lie. In person, half the Balenciagas, I would never rock. They was just so, I was like, some of them I thought I could rock based on how I see them on other people, like with the light ups and all that. I was like, oh, they actually look kind of, I might be able to get away with them. But when I saw them in person, I was like, no, there's no way. I wouldn't rock them. I wouldn't rock them to save your life, my life, whoever's life. They're just not my style, period. And it's like, people have to realize that, that not everything is for everybody. Just because it's expensive doesn't mean you should get it. Just because it's expensive doesn't mean that, um... It's going to work for you. And it just because it's expensive or designer or whatever it is you wear, it, it doesn't mean that your shit is going to look fresh. It does not mean that. You could still be a bozo 
wearing nice things. So make sure you just do what fits you and your personality and how you want to wear it and um, you'll be good. So let me end this video. I'm doing so much talking. Make sure you do everything at top level, at your top level. Make sure your next move is better than your last move. Make sure your next move is potentially even your best move. So with that being said, uh, I'll talk to you later. And um, what else can I, what else I want to say? Anything else? I think there was something else. I just can't remember. Whatever it is, I'll save it for the next one. And I'll talk to you later. All right, bye.